my name is Avith. I'm an artist living in Portland, Maine, and you can check out my work at avith.com. I'm going to show you a realism technique for watercolor painting. So for this example, I'm just going to draw a simple or paint a simple landscape. So I'm going to start out with kind of the generic landscape colors of green for the ground. Just get kind of a nice wash going, dip your brush in the water, pick up some of that watercolor pigment, brush it down on the paper. When the brush runs out, dip it in the water again. Grab some pigment of this kind of medium light green. Then clean off the brush and grab some kind of medium blue. And once again, just get a kind of light wash down on the paper for the sky. So there's just kind of a cartoonish image of a landscape. Now, if I want to add some elements of realism to this, I need to think about how many different colors are actually in the sky and how many different colors are actually on the ground. And grass isn't always just a nice cheery green, but sometimes there's brown with the dead grass. So take some brown and just blend it into that green grass with a smaller brush. And the nice thing about watercolor is that as long as the page stays wet, the colors will just blend together so nicely. And think about the green that's closer to you, which, is, which you can see better when it's closer. So it's actually going to be a brighter green. And you can kind of use these layering and blending of colors to create hills. And I could even take some yellow to create sunlight bouncing off of the grass and coming towards me. And now in the sky, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow to add a blotch of sunshine. I'm going to take some white watercolor and blend it in with that white to create clouds. And you can even add some turquoise or a dash of purple or violet to the sky because there's really so many more colors in nature than just the generic colors we think of, of like green for the grass or blue for the sky. So try to add as many colors as you can within reason so that it doesn't become muddy looking, but try to just add a wide variety of colors to the ground and the sky and you'll get a much more realistic outdoor atmosphere than if you just go with what you immediately think of. My name is Avith and I just showed you realism techniques for watercolor.